Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red, this rather damp, wet Friday morning. Oh, we hope that the weekend will be bright and sunny. Matthew chapter 19, uh, Jesus is saying to the disciples uh, in response to the Pharisees' question in verse 5, and said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother, be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So the Pharisees had presented to Jesus this question, is it ever lawful for a man and a woman to be divorced? And Jesus takes them right back to the beginning of God's original plan, right back to the beginning, back into the garden. And he says, God made man, male, and he made woman. He made female and they were going to be, as it were, individuals who came together. And he says to the, he says to the Pharisees that when God made them, he made them unique to who they were. He says, and for this reason, uh, they shall, father shall leave his father and his mother. The man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to his wife. The two shall become one flesh. And this one flesh reality is consummated in sexual intercourse. The reality of consuming a relationship, a marriage, was that sexual intercourse would seal the deal. And so marriage was about being realised at the point of consummation. And so they should, the two shall become one flesh and be joined together. And he says, and having done that, no man, no man should ever separate them. And so that reality of what God thinks about marriage is that God is committed for a man to be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. And that's Jesus' representation of God's perfect best for humanity. And where that operates, it works best. Now, Israel took it on another journey and they gave themselves license to marry all sorts of concubines and, and slave girls and all sorts of wonderful things. But that was not God's original plan. And by the time we got to Jesus, the revelation of being able to divorce your wife was you could put you could divorce her for bur for burning the toast, for not just doing what you wanted. You know, all he would have to say is three times and then they'll be divorced. But God had an intention from the beginning that a man shall be with his wife for always while they lived and remained upon the earth. And this sense of God's perspective over against man's perspective. All we've done in these days is change the revelation of having many wives to just going through lives, abandoning the wives and the husbands that we do have. And what does a Christian do if they're filled up with this kind of history? Well, I said this God's perfect best, but the reality is God is working with all the limitations of our broken, rebellious nature. And, and most people have in some way indulged in sexual activity before they ever married the woman or the man that they married in these days. And what do they do? Are they married to all those sorts of people? Uh, uh, what about the divorced wife, the divorced husband? Are they now as a Christian, a second-rate citizen in the kingdom of God? No, they're not. But Jesus carries on fulfilling the insight. And I'll let you know what happens on Monday. Have a great weekend. Be blessed and I'll see you soon.